See, do you agree with me that our lives today as a generation of people has become far more comfortable and far more convenient simply because of our understanding of science and our exploitation of that knowledge as technology? Yes. Definitely. We are the most comfortable generation ever in the history of humanity, no question about it, isn't it? Yes. We are super empowered because of the science and technology. As there is a science and technology for our external well-being, there is a whole science and technology for inner well-being. Unfortunately, most cultures have ignored this and thinking that if we make all the external arrangements well, everything will be okay. United States of America is a huge statement that this is not how it works. Anything you work hard at, anything you put a lot of effort into, anything you sweat over to make it happen, the question is, why are you working so hard? The answer is, your programs and your subconscious don't support that. When you're thinking, that's conscious mind, creative, I'm thinking. If your conscious mind is driving the vehicle, let's say you're controlling your nervous system, controlling your behavior, you got the hands on the wheel, you're driving the car with your wishes and desires. I want to go here, I'm going to go do that. And I say, great, wishes and desires. Let's say you're walking down the street and then all of a sudden you have a thought. The conscious mind at this moment, is it paying attention to the walking on the street or did it go in, inside your head and look for the answer? That's a question. The moment a conscious mind went ahead, it's not paying attention to what's going on on the outside, is it? When my conscious mind is in thought, my subconscious by default becomes autopilot. When I am thinking, my conscious mind is engaged in creative imagination. By definition, it's not paying attention. And whatever behavior I'm engaged with at that moment is now going to be run by what? Subconscious program. Autopilot. When you're thinking, autopilot subconscious is in control. How much of the time are we thinking? The average person, 95% of the day. I mean, the Truman Show was a was a uh, another moment where you know I had to kind of deal with. Uh, well, you're not allowed to do that. You know, you've presented yourself one way, yeah. and uh, you know it's it's a tough thing to convince people that uh, there's something more, mm -hmm. or that uh, they might want to see something different. But I've always believed, all the way along, I've believed that that uh, it was about a spark. Right. It was about uh, who you are as a person. It's about your soul. Yeah. It's about not necessarily. I mean, you do what you do so well. But there is something about you that, uh, that uh, is attractive to people in a way that uh, they, they want to sit and uh, watch you for an hour and, and, and listen to you and, and listen to your insights. But there, it's about you. Mm -hmm. Imagine for a few moments what our life would be like if we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. If you want to have something show up in your life, the kind of person you would like to become, manifest something new into your life, something powerful, whatever it might be, you obviously must first be able to imagine it.